Your train plan will be presented on Google Sheets. What we're going to have a look at next is how you can use the sheets, how they differ slightly from Excel and the different tabs that you might want to look at as we go through training, as well as a little bit of the functionality that's going to help us get the best out of your training. This is a blank version of the document you're going to be having access to, either using on your desktop or phone or tablet. The main part of your training to pay attention to will be on the microcycle tab, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner. The example week at the top demonstrates how you can add most of the functionality and what to expect in looking at your training plan. As we look at the running sessions at the top here, we can see an example of what the session plan might particularly look like. Next to this, the cell here just shows you what you can expect and how you can add a cell note to this information to make sure you give me as much input as possible so that I can give you the best guidance I can. Please be careful to use the note feature rather than the comment feature as this comment feature emails me every time and I actually can't see this information very clearly on the screen. As you look into the strength exercise column here, we can color code. So we're going to use the color coding system of green, orange, red and black across the sheets to make sure you're tracking and logging all your information. These are the default colors that come with the app. So using the Google Sheets app, this is what you'll find are the easy options of colors to use. In the cells, you can see descriptions of when you'd use each of the different color codings. Please do this for all training from your running sessions, strength exercises, mobility work and drills. Doing so saves us time during the calls, meaning we can get as much information and help for you as possible. As we look down the sheets and scroll down, we can see you'll have your date and miles over in the A column here, and you'll set the rest of your runs and everything else across the training block here. You'll be able to scroll down for around 12 to 16 weeks, depending on the plan variation you opt for. Here I'll outline all of the 12 to 16 weeks, breaking down the four week segments as we go through in much more depth and detail. The other things that are worth looking on, on here are your notes tab. Now, particularly in the center section here, you can see we've got the PB and the three red cells in the center needed for marathon. This is where I'll add information about your target paces and your target speeds for your marathon. In these central red cells, I'll look at the different target paces you're aiming for, the target range you're aiming for for your marathon, breaking these down into 5K, 10K, 10 mile, half marathon and 20 mile paces that we need to be running through your sessions. You can see the other sections on the left hand side, the race day preparation and areas to focus on are also particularly useful. I'll fill this section in before we start training so that I can remember which areas we need to work on most in your training to make sure we're getting you the best possible outcome. All the other cells I'll be filling in based on your consultation form and feedback. The other tab that can be worth looking at is your races and tests tab. Here I'll note down your previous run times, looking at your most recent races and any races you have coming up during the training plan period keeping a track of your progression and making sure we're setting you realistic but challenging targets throughout the training. When it comes to leaving notes and using this note feature, we head back up to the top here. Essentially what we're going to do, we can either on desktop right click and this will open up the section here and we can scroll down to delete note in this instance because there's already a note in the cell, obviously we would just add that note instead. If you use an Android device, double click the cell or click and hold the cell on your screen. On iOS products, I believe you double tap the cell to open up the different options you have for adding the notes. When adding notes, be sure to click OK before you exit the cell, otherwise the note won't save. These sheets are yours to use, so please leave lots of detailed notes for yourself and for me to have a look at. I can then give you feedback and so we can get the best out of the training experience for you, making the best of your marathon time and getting you to a great result.